you how to create an inexpensive DIY barn door for your pantry. I hope you enjoy. Guys, this is my existing pantry door and after a lot of research, I've decided that I want to show you how I can change this door into a barn door. my handsome hubby who always brings my visions to life and off to Bunnings we went. I try to focus on breathing. Now Bunnings always have some pre-made beautiful barn doors guys. I absolutely love looking at their barn doors but they range from anywhere between $250 right up to $500 a door and I wanted to show you that I can create something for so much less. beautiful designs at Bunnings and I certainly got inspiration from them but my amazing husband come up with the wonderful idea of purchasing some MDF sheets. What we're going to do here guys is get Bunnings to cut them up to size and I'm then going to create that shiplap look. MDF sheets. Now what we did here guys is purchase two of these. They retail at just nine dollars each. We then took them to the service desk and asked them to cut them up into 1500 mil lengths. That way we would have individual strips to attach to our original door. While he was cutting them up, Hubby and I went into the handle section and found this barn door handle. Now I used these on my original DIY barn doors that I did over a window. I'll leave a link to that video down below. And because my pantry is in the same room as my original barn doors, I went with the same barn door handle at just $9.25. picked up some of this square dressed pine guys as I had a wonderful idea in mind for that as well. We did get a couple of other things and then we headed out to the car to load everything up. Now the best part about this project guys, all up, it only cost me $56.22. Included all the MDF being cut to size as well as I picked up some spare nails, I picked up the barn door handle, two lots of liquid nails, a spare paintbrush and a sanding block. Now the first thing that Hubby did was remove my existing door and what we did is we just placed it on our dining table and that's going to be our workbench. I covered it up with an old blanket and this is where we created magic guys. Now the 
The first thing that hubby did was remove the old door handle. And then off camera, we gave the entire door a light sanding. Then my hubby placed the first of the strips on top of the door. Now what we're going to do here guys is place them across the entire door. We're going to make sure we leave slight little gaps in between each of the strips so that way it gives that shiplap look. of the door and then took them outside and cut them all. We then brought them inside and using that liquid nails, we glued it all over the back of each strip and then placed it down onto the door. Now to make things even more secure, we took those small nails that we picked up from Bunnings and just added them to give a tighter fit. Now do you remember that white piece of pine that I also picked up? I got Hubby to create three different sizes for me of this wood. He cut them to size because I had a wonderful idea in mind, which you're about to see, on how to create the illusion that there is a track above my barn door. Taking some Dulux black spray paint, I spray painted these three pieces. While they were drying, I then headed back inside and continued to help hubby placing down the strips onto the door. our original hinges guys and spray painted them black as well. Now the very last strip guys was a little too wide for the door so what hubby's doing here is he's measured it to size and cut the strip off. Now you can see on purpose that we've left slight gaps in between each join. This is to give that ship that look. Now it's time to frame the door. What we're doing now is taking some additional pieces and hubby is cutting each piece to size to create a complete frame. everything in place. He again added some additional nails. when I was getting super excited guys because it was really starting to take shape and look like a barn door. Now what Hubby did 
did here guys is he took some of those additional pieces and cut them a little bit smaller for the actual cross and what he's doing here is he's just lining up so that way it will butt up to each corner He then liquid nailed everything in place as well as adding some additional nails. A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. Now was the absolute fun part of all, guys, painting it. And I've decided to go for a beautiful crisp white by Jewel Arts. This colour is called Vivid White and I absolutely love how crisp and clean it looks. started to paint I went over off camera with a very light wet rag and removed any of the dust that was accumulating on top of the door. Coat and we ended up doing three coats in total. Now after the first coat, my hubby decided to put the door back on. He preferred to paint standing upright so we then gave the second and third coat now what he's doing here after putting the door back on remember that I got that piece of timber guys now what I wanted to do here is give the illusion that this door was on a track even though it is not that is why I got my hubby to cut up three pieces of timber is taking the longest piece of timber and what he's going to do is just drill it into the architrave of the door so this way it's not affecting how we open the door whatsoever now what he's doing here is taking the two smaller pieces and he's going to drill them to either end of the door making sure we can still open and close the door but when it's closed it looks like it's all one piece now guys i had these two timber craft beads that were quite large and i knew that would give the illusion of the tracking at the top of the timber so i took them outside and spray painted those black as well and then hubby took some liquid nails and glued them in place can't believe it Every time we touch I feel at home There's no way I'd ever let you go When you put your hands in mine I'm gonna be alright Then taking our beautiful barn door handle He screwed that in place Here is my finished pantry barn door. I'm so happy with how this came. That could compare to you, the way you're always smiling, the way you light up a room. 
guys, you know I absolutely love to share ideas with you where you can get the look for less. And with my husband's brilliant idea, I was able to spend no more than $56 and use my existing door to create the look of a barn door. I didn't have to spend up to $500 on a door, guys. And you can do this too. has to go to my handsome hubby for bringing my vision to life. I truly couldn't have done it without him guys and he worked so hard. I know how much you enjoyed when I did a DIY of barn doors over a window. You can see them there on the right hand side of this room. I will leave a link to that video for you down below and show you how inexpensive that project was as well. so much for watching guys I truly hope you've enjoyed this video I hope I've inspired you when it comes to creating your very own pantry barn door don't forget guys to give me a big thumbs up it really helps this channel share the video as many times as you can and I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button to become a part of Shell's Glam Home family so until next time, my friends, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.